uh, the agri business, agri vertical, as we call it, uh, is a relatively new business for us. We started about five years ago, and we have been uh, growing from a very small base at a very rapid pace, uh, and we have grown about eight times in the last five years. Last year, agri business total uh, in Mahindra was about 600 crore, uh, including all the various things that we do. What we are doing is uh, one by one looking at uh, specific verticals in agri to see where we can come in and add value to that vertical, both from the farmer's viewpoint as well as the customer's viewpoint. Uh, we have done, for example, mustard oil uh, some time ago. Before that, we have done uh, grapes. has been a very long-standing business for us. We have done apples. We have done, uh, 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 we have done banana. Uh, and now we are getting into pulses. We will get into dairy in future. Now, we've identified pulses as an area where we clearly see that we can add value first on the farmer side, where we can help the farmer to increase productivity from what is today about 650 kg per hectare uh, to what is a uh, sort of global average of about 900 kg per hectare. And so try and do that. And also to bring high quality, consistent quality pulses to the consumer, uh, which is measured in terms of moisture content, how the policing is done, the grain size, and all of those things. And that's our objective. And obviously, we are determining that it's a business where we can go in and uh, economically justify uh, doing the business. So when you combine the farmer benefit, the customer benefit, and the economic justification, we think it's the right time for us to come in. Now, it so happens that it coincides with the fact that today the pulse prices are very high. That's incidental. Uh, I mean, those things keep going up and down. Uh, I do expect that the pulse output in the Karib season will be higher than last year because the sowing has been much higher than last year. And therefore, probably by the time Karib output comes into the market, which will be December, January time frame, the pulse prices should subsidize. That's Mr. Going an interesting aspect, as you rightly touched upon, when it comes to pricing, there's also a debate going on in the country with a lot of corporate houses getting into the agribusiness. Is this going to add to the pricing price or would eventually ensure that the prices are market driven and are affordable? How do you look at it and what's your take? Let me first say that agriculture business is huge business uh, and it's impossible for one company uh, to impact market prices. Uh, you take pulses for example, uh, the pulse uh, industry is 2 lakh crore a year. And the largest player is 350 crores. So you cannot say that one player coming in in any way, shape, or form can influence market price up or down. Uh, what I see is there are always pluses and minuses, uh, and depends on what does the corporate do uh, when a corporate comes into a specific business vertical. Uh, my belief is that there's a lot of uh, uh, inefficiency that we have in the whole value chain from uh, actual production in the in, in the farm. Uh, to the processing, storage, uh, transportation, uh, and if the corporate can come in and remove the inefficiency, corporates will help to reduce prices and not increase prices. Uh, but at the same time, if you say, okay, this is one more uh, business going to take money out of the economic value chain, then they'll add prices. We hope that Mahindra will have an effect of reducing uh, prices in the end uh, and get better quality rather than increasing, increasing prices. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.